Hello, welcome to the Lahore Museum. It houses 5,000 years of our history and culture. What's incredibly striking is the exterior, the facade, the entire structure and design of the building. It's actually very similar to the V&A. One of the oldest pieces in the museum is from the 8th century and it was discovered from one of a very famous graveyard here. What we know as Hinduism now actually developed over a long period of time. Buddhism and Jainism kind of are responses to that, that thing actually. So they are contemporary. This is the fasting Siddharth. He thought maybe through uh, sort of, you know, diminishing the body, he might get some spiritual enli uh, enlightenment. This uh, sort of statue brings out that, that his state uh, in a very, very dramatic way, actually. So the first human depiction of the Buddha took place in Gandhara in Pakistan? Yes, absolutely. Wow, that's pretty yes. impressive. And this is one of my favourite bits. The Greeks, who, like most places, um, they turned up here. You've got the Hindus next door, you've got Buddhists, we're going to Persian and Islamic. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the most multicultural countries on the planet. Uh, absolutely. Islam made a big impact on this region, being the rulers, but also in the culture and art and even science, yes, I believe. Yes, yes. Uh, these are made by the great Sadiqen. He was yeah. one of our greatest uh, uh, painters. These are uh, different verses from the Quran, actually. Uh, his uh, decisive fight with Aurangzeb was not just a fight between two contenders for power, but also a conflict between two interpretations of Islam, two worldviews, two ideologies. And then we move on to Queen Victoria, who was actually the symbol of empire. They pioneered railways, they pioneered canals, and they pioneered irrigation. But it wasn't benevolent, it was a tool of empire. Yes, absolutely. But it also had benevolent effect. These are the pioneers of modern art in Pakistan, Zubeda Agha and Zainal Abedin and B.N. Sanya. This institution is a microcosm of what we were and what we should be and what we will be.